minus 32 again. I guess we'll be sitting inside a lot today. This winter is a... Uh... Mm. Wolf winter. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if that's the expression. Mm. In, Swedish, in Swedish it's varia winter and that's wolf's mm. winter. But they also say it's going to be plus degrees again in a couple of days, like mm. the last time. So from minus 37 to plus 4 for a week, and then minus 32, and then it got really icy after that time. The auto white balance on the camera doesn't don't know if it's going to measure the outside light or the mm. light bulb. <laughs> it just got a really yellow. Disco lights. Yeah. What do we got here? Yeah. Really beautiful <coughs> miniature. Miniature. Uh, Who is that? Frasse. With stuff related to Talasbuan. Do you see the, the bird? Hold on, Adam. And my wreath. What's it do? Books, of course. Mm. How's it doing? Cheese. Matthias' hat or mm. my grandfather's hat. Mm. And my mum oh. wanted to have a book from her to choose for. How many? Färbodar och sånt. And cheese and our feel. The flowered milk. Yeah. And in here you can see flowers and the, the blue dragonflies that we have and in the street. It's so detailed and beautiful. Oh, it let you the fire! And of course the lowly bucket. And music is part of. So we have it on our wall. Look at it every day. But now I can't get it off. So. The three three layers of wool, up and down. She said later that she forgot the kombucha bottle. <laughs> the one standing in the background now. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> en liten lykta ser jag. En liten lykta där? Mm, där. Jaså. Mm. Och lite ved under vänken. Och en katt av två får. Jasså. Inomhus. Nej, de är väl utomhus. De här ute på bänken. De är utanför knuten. Här är ost. Mm. Det är ingen muggelost tror jag. Nej. Det är nog den här stora osten. Ja, precis. Den jätteosten. It was a while ago since we got that. Mm. But if you're still watching... Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. It's a fantastic gift. Yeah. Very thoughtful. So what's on the <coughs> agenda today? Some, some snow shoveling, of course. We had like a decimeter of snow a couple of days ago. And sitting inside, maybe. You need to Papa. edit some video. Yes. Papa. Mm. I need to do some bookkeeping. Yeah. Things like that. Ivor needs to do some Lego building.
yeah, it's minus uh, 32. The chickens don't venture outside their house. Understandable. The sun is shining a bit. The stream. What's that? The stream has almost frozen over. I opened it a bit and fetched some water earlier. No bath, no bathing and so not today I think. I fed it a goop then. Goop? Mm. Det är för att det är stenar där under kanske. Och är det vågar? Mm. Där är en våg. Mm. Där är en våg där. I den där gropen. Mm. Mava is cold. Has cold feet. I think we're gonna head inside soon. Warm our cheeks and fingers and toes. Det står i vägen för skotrarna. Ja, men det kommer ingen nu eller? I do enjoy when it's cold, but maybe minus 25 degrees Celsius had been enough. At least we gave the little birds something to eat yesterday, so. They have something when it's this cold. Du, den där. Grönsaken? Ja. Tänk på pappa att upp den förr, den är alldeles framför pappa. Look at this. The sun is reaching the cabin. Bada bam 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 bam. This calls for celebration. Let's drink some tea. It is minus 35 degrees, or has been the whole night. Mm. Uh, it's 20 degrees inside now. Mm, not so much <laughs> on the floor though. Mm. Uh, Would be interesting to put a thermo thermometer on the floor. Yeah, see the difference. Mm. In the evening when we go to sleep, we stop putting more firewood into the stove and uh, when we wake up in the morning this morning it was eight degrees celsius mm. and it takes, no, okay. it takes probably an hour or so to get it to around 20. so the first one of us who wakes up uh, puts a fire in the stove we take turns to to put more firewood in. There is never any problem when we are in the bed. We got really nice down uh, covers. Yeah. Duvets. 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 <laughs> that was <laughs> weird that there are no specific term for täcke. Yeah. <laughs> so dun täcke in Swedish. Down feathers 
yeah. cover but or duvet, duvet i think it's oh, duvet and then yeah, duvet. wool blankets yeah. ull filt yeah. so in in <laughs> in our bed there is no problem but it's a little bit harsh when it's below minus 30 degrees celsius mm -hmm. so we tried to get uh, um, generator to to work and no, no, no. it's broken we had it inside here so the oils and yeah so it could be warm so it's easier to start and it starts but it shuts down there's something wrong i think with the gas regulation something there seem there's some spring loaded thing there that seems to behave weird but it's a compact generator and uh, it's a mess to to try to fix i have no idea how to best get the shell off <laughs> everything is stuck to everything uh, earlier or some year ago the the core that you pull to s the start pulling mechanism broke so that the cord went inside <laughs> and before i got that out from there to to make a new nut and, and uh, put the handle on again oh, that was a mess so this is a champion global power equipment 2500 watts inverter but i would say it doesn't at all get up to 2500 watts it's much weaker than that when it says 2500 watts here i would think that it would be able to run 2500 watts but it seems to be struggling if it's over a thousand watts so in the winter time we need to use that one to charge our Bluetti battery that we then use to charge the computer and and headlamps and phones and yeah, cameras so on the display there it says 400 watts and the car engine heater is about 700 watts so that should be no problem for this to, to run both of them at the same time <laughs> it seems to be struggling every time you we put some harder load on it now i need to see if i can find some youtube video or something how to repair this <laughs> i don't know if there is some is, is there a trick to to get the shell off it so i can see what i'm doing <laughs> what are you up to I'm making some new calendula salves because it's all no, out. No, you stink. See what yours are clean. Hey, mm -hmm. um, jag skulle vilja ha på dem, den här, de här bilen, så det har något att gömma med. Har du gömma med? Mm, gömma. Vi har fram med de här så... I feel very inspired to start to make things and develop some recipes for maybe, I don't know, maybe start to sell something because it's so. And it has its hjärta! So good products or good things to use, so it would be nice to get it out there more. It's a little we just need to start a private club so we don't get harassed by the so-called authorities. So it's a little bit warmer. It's minus 27 or 28. <laughs> Did you get your salve made? Yeah. A lot of arnica and some calendula. So you're going to go up to the village, make some kombucha or... Mm. Yeah. And I'm gonna stay here and keep the fire going and 
edit video. Mm. I guess I need to go out something today as well. So. We would need to take away the snow from the path to the ramps before it gets plus degrees again and it gets on. Mm. But I don't think I want to try to start no. the Maybe snowblower engine mm. in minus 30 degrees. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that will lead to even more repairs. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you like it. Well, another day today and it's 4 degrees. It was 10 degrees when we woke up, both inside and outside. <laughs> Minus 10 degrees outside and plus 10 degrees inside. That's a little bit better. So now it feels almost like summer. I got some snow here that I need to remove and I need to to remove the snow from the path to the to the rams. Because they have promised plus degrees again. So that's why I look so funny in my hat. I need these. <laughs> If the hat is between the the air protection and and the air, then they don't protect me from the sound from the snowblower as good, and I won't hear what 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 I'm listening to either. <laughs> and as usual, probably I cannot tell what I'm listening to because then YouTube will be obstinate and and make life hard for us. It's time to light the sauna again and the three or four days, I don't know how many days, minus 30, 35, three days, uh, it's <laughs> all iced over our swimming place. So now it's zero degrees, so it's barely, yeah, it's not melting and it's not freezing. We can't make snowballs yet. So I'm not I'm a little bit unsure. <laughs> it takes pretty fast before this opens up when when it's plus degrees. Can I be standing on it and <laughs> making a hole for us now or not? May I let you start the counter? Mm-hmm. Och så länge det är ont. Mm. Snön. Snön är ont. Kom nu. Jag tar det. Nu ska vi gå hit och se vad pappa ska hacka isen. Ten centimeters of ice. Should you start over there? Over there? Yeah, with the edges. I don't know. <laughs> no, but maybe you can do with a club. In the deep. In the deep. And the side. We'll see if this will end up in a premature bath. <laughs> mm. Good for you. Maybe. You can move in there or you die. Well, that didn't feel good at all. Didn't feel good at all. Very fragile. <laughs> <laughs> you live for the thrill. Maybe I should empty out my pocket. <laughs> It will float away if you release it like that. <laughs> Ivar, nu ska du akta du trilla ner här. Huh. Very... You have to be closer to the edge. Yeah, This <laughs> <laughs> yeah really do. It feels like standing on the branch that you are so, you know. It's a lot weaker here. Yeah. 
Are you sure you're gonna cut off the exit for you yourself? <laughs> Maybe we didn't need to put so much time in this, it will be gone tomorrow. Mm. But we, we are bathing today. Yeah, but if we just yeah. get ourselves a little hole here. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. Okay. Oh, nee. <laughs> Klubban! Och pappas ben! Aj, aj, aj. Klubban! A little bit wet. I really thought you would Klubban! make it. Make it. <laughs> Klubban! Yeah, but now we got the path. Of the hammer in the other water. We need to we can clear push away. it a bit. Yeah, but we can clear away this from the sauna. Of the hammer in the When we can take a swim. Kan du se det Not the best. Före. Whatever that is in English. Glide. <laughs>
ei dümmaga. Kõrvame. Jah, siis kõrvame hakka. Three days in a row now with temperatures below minus 30 degrees. It's starting to get a little bit harsh. <laughs> I have a hard time getting all the ice away from the, the place where we collect drinking water for us and for the chickens and for, for the sheep. This has definitely been the harshest winter for us since we moved here. And I guess you're getting tired of us talking about temperatures. It's one very important topic for us here because we don't have constant heating in our cabin. So there is no way for us to just flip a switch and there is heating and we can pay for that. And because we don't have one of those switches, it has certain implications of our lives here. So it means that if we leave the cabin for more than a day in this cold temperature <laughs> I'm freezing my feet off <laughs> Want to get moving it means that uh, then the temperature in the cabin will be minus degrees so we cannot have anything in the cabin that gets destroyed by minus degrees. And before we got the cellar it was uh, a challenge. But now that we got the cellar that so far has been keeping <laughs> above freezing temperature. Even though we only got the one door yet or still. Then we can put all the things that cannot manage freezing temperatures down in the cellar. So it's not that big of a deal as it were for us earlier. Recently I was at a regenerative meetup and my friend Osa thought that I would talk about our lives here to, to, to the gathering. And one question was that what are the challenges? And uh, <laughs> since we live here and, uh, and this is our everyday life, it's not always easy to <laughs> to answer those questions immediately, but after some thinking I came up with the challenges. And one is we don't have constant heating in our cabin. And if you're living a modern life, or how to say, that is a problem. Because in such a lifestyle there are not people always constantly putting firewood into the stove every day. Luckily we can do that more or less but we're still a small family, it's just the two of us and Ivar. The other challenges are, ironically, in this temperature, a freezer and uh, a washing machine. So the challenges were heating in the cabin, or in particular constant heating in the cabin, preserving food and washing clothes. So the washing clothes, it's really <laughs> not a problem, because you could solve that very easy by just <laughs> washing by hand. But the freezer, 
that's sort of a problem. You could solve it with a lot of money. Just a large battery bank, some power generators of some kind, if it's wind or water or solar and, and, uh, and then a freezer. But you would still be reliant on having access to new batteries, new solar panels, new gear for wind turbines, new whatever from the industry. So it is still a problem even though you can feel that you are generating your own power and, and so on. But if you can't fix it without industry then mm, you're still <laughs> you still got a problem. So it's not really the entire solution so to speak to to have a lot of money and fix those things in that way. The other solution to that problem is learn to preserve your food without a freezer. So I guess that is the path one has to take if one doesn't want to be reliant on industry. The constant heating, I guess the solution to that is a community, a big family, multi-generational and so on. There is always dry firewood in the woodshed and there is always someone feeding the fire. Of course there are ways to solve this problem with money as well and being reliant on the system by getting a diesel heater or, or solutions like that. Yeah well I better go inside and warm my feet. This winter has been hard. In not many only, aspects. Yeah, not only the, the harsh temperatures, but also the summer was so wet. It was raining and raining and raining, so every farmer had trouble with, with, uh, hey. with the hay making. And so we got a lot of bales that are completely frozen because they had to make them even though it rained <laughs> and, and uh, the sheep has I think it's too hard for them to, to nubble away at the frozen hay, hay ice cream mm. so every now and then when we see that when they start to have a hard time reaching the hay then we open this up and I chop away with the axe a little bit and then so a lot more work than than it could be, or how to say. Kasta dem pinnar. Osh. At least it's only minus four today. Uh, sweating. Mm. It's real warm. Oi! Yep. <laughs> well, I guess enough talking about temperatures. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping for spring winter now yeah. it's the nicest time of the year ah oi yeah a bit warm and sunny and mm. you can sit out in t-shirt <laughs> yeah we need to dig ourselves a sofa here mm. spend some time Snow with cave. the sheep mm. yeah. that would be nice mm. days just roll past mm. 
mid-February. Yeah. Mm. There is a lot happening in our lives right now and mm. we are going to talk about them further on. So I guess <laughs> this is a little cliffhanger. Leave you hanging. Uh. Mm. Oj. Trilla med det vattnet. But I guess that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Mm. And also, thank you to all our patrons. Thank you.